I was working to make a very simple power supply and a part of that schematic is already on my YouTube channel. It is the circuit where I used a so-called 317 chip and that chip is here and it is the current that the chip can deliver is amplified by a 2 and 3055. So, uh, say this this sets the voltage and this is in a kind of way the afterburner. It makes that the current can be very high. And when I say very high, in this case it's not so extremely high because I have used here only a transformer that can handle say approximately 200 milliampere perhaps 300 milliampere maximum etc etc. So we have here the classical setup analog in a certain way not in a certain way, but completely analog um, power supply. I've made many power supplies in the past. There are many circuits uh, of power supplies on my YouTube channel with all kinds of descriptions and much more where I was telling how that worked, etc. etc. Uh, well, the idea of this video is to find out the right here, the right uh, the right resistor that has to uh, say in a certain way here bridge such an extremely sensitive micro ampere voltmeter. It was originally a voltmeter but I changed it to an ampere meter. That's of course not very difficult. The whole crux of the idea is that you shortcut the voltmeter with a certain resistance. And I've done that here in this experimental stage. It was a 10 ohm resistor. Uh, want to tell more about it? Anyway, uh, so we here we have that uh, new power supply. <coughs> a very simple, simple transformer can handle approximately 200 milliampere or so. No problem. I needed it for another experiment that I did earlier. That was this experiment where I was working uh, to get, uh, say, to find the inductance of high inductance coils in the order of 1 Henry up to 20 Henry. Anyway, I needed a double power supply to make uh, that circuit possible I needed two separate voltage supplies and this is the new one and I had only one one um, which you can set in a variable way the output voltage so um, this is also will also be a power supply with a variable voltage output. The knob is here. When I turn it, the, you can surely see here that the output voltage goes up uh, with that simple lamp, etc. etc. But anyway, um, the most important thing and idea is. Uh, here and that's uh, what I want to talk about 
is change a microampere voltmeter into a useful ampere meter and that means that you have to shortcut that very sensitive microampere meter. It has a uh, say a DC resistance in the order of 2000 ohms up to 4000 ohms. So it is extremely sensitive. But uh, like I told, when you shortcut such a microampere meter with a piece of wire, uh, all the current will flow through the, the, the big piece of wire and only a tiny, tiny current will flow through the microampere meter indicating in that case the current that's flowing. So uh, in this setup I've made this the microampere meter under test it has to be calibrated. Here is that uh, shunt resistor. That shunt resistor is now here this resistor is 10 ohms. Of course, uh, look to Ohm's law, and um, that's where it's all about. And when you don't understand Ohm's law, uh, study it. This resistor is 10 ohms, and here we have a calibrated meter, so when the current flows here in the circuit, we have a calibrated meter here, and say, um, a meter with an unknown shunt, and in th this case it is 10 ohms. It means that you can read the calibrated meter here. It is, say, 250 uh, milliampere here. So, uh, we'll drop down the voltage a little bit. So, say we have here 250 50 milliampere and let's look on the shunt. This is the shunt. This is the also a voltmeter but now shunted with a resistor of 10 ohms and we can also read here 250. It means that in this case this meter is calibrated. So, um, not so much more to tell. Uh, I cannot demonstrate more because my meter only, uh, this meter by the way, only goes to say 300 milliampere. It means that I have to go make the voltage somewhat higher. So now it's 300 milliampere. And let's look here. So. 250 was the first reading and now we are say really in the order of 300 milliampere. It means that this resistor of 10 ohms is burning out by the way. It's getting extremely hot. So I need a, a power resistor in the order of 10 ohms and perhaps I need some more aligning. Um, power resistor of 10 ohms fits in this case properly to align the amperometer in my new power supply. And I have to say without load this power supply gives out approximately 27 volts. That's okay. So the, the open voltage, the output open voltage is 27 volts. But now of course we have here a load in uh, in the form of a small small lamp that of course in a certain way uh, surely brings the output voltage down. I cannot give at the moment the output voltage but Anyway, the whole idea was to show how to calibrate uh, two amperometers in one circuit. Of 
course, when the current flows in a circuit, it is the same. This meter has to indicate the same value compared to this meter. Anyway, Ohm's law is valid. Thanks for watching. And I have made in the past even very, very sensitive microamperometers usable to work on say 10 ampere or so. In that case uh, you can surely have an idea here about how low that resistor must be. It is in many cases simply a piece of wire, simple wire uh, in the order of one meter or 50 centimeters and in that case you can change such a microamperometer into an amperometer or a microvoltmeter into an amperometer. That's more or less the same. Anyway, thanks for watching. So, again, for one ampere up to ten ampere, you need a kind of shortcut here. Anyway. Hope it was a little bit interesting or clear. I hope to finish this second power supply within uh, a few days. It has again everything to do with my earlier experiments where I tried to, and perhaps I will give the link, where I tried to test, find out high inductance coils and in that case via a kind of peculiar circuit out of 1939. But anyway, perhaps I have to leave this ID, I don't know exactly, have to do many many more experiments and uh, making this simple next voltage apply is one of the experiments that they have to do. Thanks for watching.